gorillas are herbivorous, predominantly ground-dwelling great apes that inhabit the tropical forests of equatorial Africa. The genus gorilla is divided into two species, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla, and either four or five subspecies. The DNA of gorillas is highly similar to that of humans, from 95 to 99 percent depending on what is included, and they are the next closest living relatives to humans after chimpanzees and bonobos. All of them having diverged from a common ancestor about 7 million years ago, human gene sequences differ only 1.6% on average from the sequences of corresponding gorilla genes, but there is further difference in how many copies each gene has. Until recently, gorillas were considered to be a single species, with three subspecies, the western lowland gorilla, the eastern lowland gorilla and the mountain gorilla. There is now agreement that there are two species, each with two subspecies. More recently, a third subspecies has been claimed to exist in one of the species. The separate species and subspecies developed from a single type of gorilla during the Ice Age, when their forest habitats shrank and became isolated from each other. Gorillas are the largest living primates, reaching heights between 1.25 and 1.8 meters, weights between 100 and 270 kilograms, and arm spans up to 2.6 meters, depending on species and sex. They tend to live in troops, with the leader being called a silverback. The eastern gorilla is distinguished from the western by darker fur color and some other minor morphological differences. Gorillas tend to live 35 to 40 years in the wild. The oldest gorilla ever is Fatu, who is still alive at the advanced age of 65 years. Gorillas' natural habitats cover tropical or subtropical forest in sub-Saharan Africa. Although their range covers a small percentage of sub-Saharan Africa, gorillas cover a wide range of elevations. The mountain gorilla inhabits the Albertine Rift montane cloud forests of the Virunga volcanoes, ranging in altitude from 2,200 to 4,300 meters. Lowland gorillas live in dense forests and lowland swamps and marshes as low as sea level, with western lowland gorillas living in central West African countries and eastern lowland gorillas living in the Democratic Republic of the Congo near its border with Rwanda. There are thought to be around 316,000 western gorillas in the wild, and 5,000 eastern gorillas. Both species are classified as critically endangered by the IUCN, all subspecies are critically endangered with the exception of the mountain gorilla, which is classified as endangered. There are many threats to their survival, such as poaching, habitat destruction, and disease, which threaten the survival of the species. However, conservation efforts have been successful in some areas where they live. Gorillas have a patchy distribution. The range of the two species is separated by the Congo River and its tributaries. The western gorilla lives in west-central Africa, while the eastern gorilla lives in east-central Africa. Between the species, and even within the species, gorillas live in a variety of habitats and elevations. Gorilla habitat ranges from montane forest to swampland. Eastern gorillas inhabit montane and submontane forests between 650 and 4,000 meters above sea level. A gorilla's day is divided between rest periods and travel or feeding periods. Diets differ between and within species. Mountain gorillas mostly eat foliage, such as leaves, stems, pith, and shoots, while fruit makes up a very small part of their diets. Mountain gorilla food is widely distributed and neither individuals nor groups have to compete with one another. Their home ranges vary from 3 to 15 kilometers too, and their movements range around 500 meters or less on an average day. Despite eating a few species in each habitat, mountain gorillas have flexible diets and can live in a variety of habitats. Eastern lowland gorillas have more diverse diets, which vary seasonally. Leaves and pith are commonly eaten, but fruits can make up as much as 25% of their diets. Since fruit is less available, lowland gorillas must travel farther each day, and their home ranges vary from 2.7 to 6.5 square kilometers, with day ranges 154 to 2,280 meters. Eastern lowland gorillas will also eat insects, preferably ants. Western lowland gorillas depend on fruits more than the others and they are more dispersed across their range. 
They travel even farther than the other gorilla subspecies, at 1,105 meters per day on average, and have larger home ranges of 7 to 14 kilometers. Western lowland gorillas have less access to terrestrial herbs, although they can access aquatic herbs in some areas. Termites and ants are also eaten. Gorillas rarely drink water, because they consume succulent vegetation that is comprised of almost half water as well as morning dew, although both mountain and lowland gorillas have been observed drinking. Gorillas construct nests for daytime and night use. Nests tend to be simple aggregations of branches and leaves about 2 to 5 feet in diameter and are constructed by individuals. Gorillas, unlike chimpanzees or orangutans, tend to sleep in nests on the ground. The young nest with their mothers, but construct nests after three years of age, initially close to those of their mothers. Gorilla nests are distributed arbitrarily and use of tree species for sight and construction appears to be opportunistic. Nest building by great apes is now considered to be not just animal architecture, but as an important instance of tool use. One possible predator of gorillas is the leopard. Gorilla remains have been found in leopard scat, but this may be the result of scavenging. When the group is attacked by humans, leopards, or other gorillas, an individual silverback will protect the group, even at the cost of his own life. Gorillas do not appear to directly compete with chimpanzees in areas where they overlap. When fruit is abundant gorilla and chimpanzee diets converge, but when fruit is scarce gorillas resort to vegetation. The two apes may also feed on different species, whether fruit or insects. Gorillas and chimpanzees usually ignore or avoid each other when feeding on the same tree, but coalitions of chimpanzees have been observed attacking families of gorillas including silverbacks and killing infants. Gorillas are considered highly intelligent. A few individuals in captivity, such as Coco, have been taught a subset of sign language. Like the other great apes, gorillas can laugh, grieve, have rich emotional lives, develop strong family bonds, make and use tools, and think about the past and future. Some researchers believe gorillas have spiritual feelings or religious sentiments. They have been shown to have cultures in different areas revolving around different methods of food preparation, and will show individual color preferences. Gorillas became highly prized by Western zoos since the 19th century, though the earliest attempts to keep them in captive facilities ended in their early death. In the late 1920s the care of captive gorillas significantly improved. Colo of the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium was the first gorilla to be born in captivity. The use of both internal and external privacy screens on exhibit windows has been shown to alleviate stresses from visual effects of high crowd densities, leading to decreased stereotypic behaviors in the gorillas. Playing naturalistic auditory stimuli as opposed to classical music, rock music, or no auditory enrichment, which allows for crowd noise, machinery, etc. to be heard, has been noted to reduce stress behavior as well. Enrichment modifications to feed and foraging, where clover hay is added to an exhibit floor, decrease stereotypic activities while simultaneously increasing positive food-related behaviors. All species, and subspecies, of gorilla are listed as endangered or critically endangered on the IUCN Red List. All gorillas are listed in Appendix I of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, meaning that international export, import of the species, including in parts and derivatives, is regulated.